new concept, new concept, new concept being introduced here. It's really not anything new, it's just a discovery. It's not new concepts, it's discovery. So everything's a revelation of Christ, right? And so, like I told somebody the other day, I think it was somebody in the real world. I, I think it was somebody in the real world. And I told them, I said, everything around you is repeating. And so everything around you is repeating. It's the same old, same old. There's nothing new under the sun, right? So what's the purpose? So if the inside can grow forever, then everything on the outside is nothing more than a tuning fork. The outside is a tuning fork for your inside. The outside object lessons, the objects or object lessons, are tuning forks for your inner man, your inward man, your inner person. So as your inner person is being tuned by the outside experiences of life, what happens? Eventually, hopefully, your insides, you bring every thought into captivity and you get the mind of Christ, oneness with Jesus. The mind of Christ. You stretch your mind into the ethereal plane, the ether of the Spirit, the 5D, and you think like Jesus, you're seated in heavens, and you get the mind of Christ. So then what happens? Well, Jesus, they told him, they said, you got to pay your taxes. So he went and he grabbed a fish, and there was a coin in the fish's mouth, and he paid his taxes. He was. In, he told that uh, that bush, that fig tree that wasn't producing. He cursed the fig tree because it wasn't giving him the food, and he's he was he's Jesus. It was made for him, and so the universe is for you. Before you get the mind of Christ, the universe is hitting you. The universe is turning you. The universe is a Turing machine. Universe, one turn. Really, nothing new is happening. The only thing new is happening is your inner man. So as your inner man starts to grow and you approach the mind of Christ, guess what happens? Then you no longer need the universe to tune you because you're tuning yourself with the Word of God, with the Holy Spirit, with the mind of Christ. And the universe is in tune with you and you actually are causing reflections in the universe. And now, like the Bible says, the, the earth, the creation waits and groans for the sons of God to appear. So when you appear and you, you emerge into the 5D and you make an appearance, the universe is happy, the earth is happy, and it's going to respond to you. So you no longer need the universe to tune you because you're in tune because you have the mind of Christ and now you're outside of time and you're instantaneously in synchronicity with the whole creation because you're in synchronicity with God because he talks about abiding in him and he will give you the desires of your heart. So you're in tune with Jesus. You're hid in Christ in God. You're in tune with the universe, and the universe has given you your, the desires of your heart or what you need or what you want or whatever. If he gave you his son, will he not freely give you all things, right? And so as the outside did its job to turn, tune you on the inside, and then what happens is once you're tuned on the inside, the outside starts to respond to your in, inner man, the inward man. So let me say it in a short sentence. The purpose of the outside is to tune you in the inside, and you know that's the case because there's nothing new going on around you. So it has to be the fact that your inner man can grow exponentially forever. So then once you're in tune on the inside, the outside responds to, the, to you. It's a feedback loop. And so when you get out of tune, what happens? The universe tunes you up. 
Then you get back in tune. The universe responds and reflects your inner man. You bring every thought into captivity of Christ. And so the universe is happy. Because actually, the uni you're in Him. In Him we live and breathe and have our being. You're in the Word. And the Word is tuned in you. Every object is a derivative from the spirit realm. And everything is from Jesus, who's the source. So you're actually swimming in the Word. Being changed by the Word back to the Word. And so when you get the mind of Christ and bring every thought into captivity, the universe is no different than when Jesus reached down and grabbed that coin out of that fish's mouth and paid his taxes. That's how it works. You're in a feedback loop. And when you get out of tune, the universe pushes you back in order, you know. Because actually the universe is the word craft. Information technology, IT, it follows. So information is informing you. Technology is craft word, craft logos. So the word craft is forming you in the inner man. And the word information is inform, AT is AT is the blood of his cross. Ion is the walk. So the ion walk is what's happening to get you to walk in the spirit. So when you're walking in the spirit, you're in tune with the universe because you're in tune with Jesus because you have the mind of Christ and you're following after him in time. As you're walking it out in time, in series after him, he's the firstborn among many brethren. So as you're walking in the spirit in time after Christ, the universe is in tune with you. And when some of the goats show up and try to upset you and says, you need to pay your taxes, you just... You just pray, Lord, I need to pay my taxes. And there it goes. It appears in the hologram. My point is, whatever you need appears because if there's a problem, the only reason there's a problem is to show you that the solution was already there before the problem appeared. Do you understand what I'm saying? The, the lamb slain before the foundation world, the solution was already there before the problem appeared. Come on now. Somebody's getting ready to get a breakthrough. If you just listen to this 20 times, listen to this as much as you need to before it clicks. Information technology, it follows. The hound of heaven is chasing you down to get you saved, and then he's trying to get you to, to convert your mind. Be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, bringing every thought into captivity of Christ then the purpose of the universe is what? It's just a feedback loop to keep you in tune. And when you are in tune 100%, you're in high-level synchronicity with God, His Son, the universe, everything. You're everywhere in Him. But when you get out of tune, the universe, or the hound of heaven, it follows. He uses the, the Turing machine that you're in. In Him, we live and breathe and have our being. So he, He's keeping you in tune. And what you perceive as the universe is actually a derivative from the Word. What you perceive as the universe is actually a derivative of the Word and His story of the cross. So you're actually, everything that you look at, you're looking at the story of His cross everywhere at all times. And that story of the cross is trying to get you in tune with what? Walking in the spirit, agape, and truth. And so as the universe turns, you're actually not really moving. The universe is just a Turing machine projection to, to change your inner man so that you start to control your thoughts and bring every thought into captivity and then the universe has to respond to you as what you need because it was made for you anyway it has to respond to the things that you need because if he gave you his son he, will he not freely give you all things his whole purpose is for you to grow you know he doesn't want you to die he won't or stagnate he wants you to grow and if that's God's will and you believe it, and you want it, then it's going to happen. If we ask anything according to His will, it will be done. That's Bible. And so God's will is not for your 
hurt, but for your growth. That's the truth.